Hello everybody, I am Ramzan Rajani and in this video I will explain you how do you prevent duplicate entry in your Excel sheets. If you are working in HR, in training and development or in finance and if you want nobody should enter a duplicate entry in your Excel sheet, how do you restrict, how do you prevent that? Let me show you step by step. So I will go to my sheet with the name employee ID and I have a blank template over here and I wanted to do a setting in column A so that nobody can enter duplicate employee ID over here. The steps are as this. So I will first click on a column over here on the heading. It will select my entire column. After that, I will go to the data tab, which is over here. And in data tab, on the right hand side, you will see one option, data validation. Sometime due to screen resolution, you might not see a word data validation. Here, you have to see this icon over here. If you see this icon, this denotes the data validation. So I click on, either you click directly over here, or sometime if you click on this arrow over here, then here you again select the same option data validation. After going over here, you will be by default in setting tab. But if you are in any another tab, you have to go to the setting tab. In setting tab here, allow any value. No, you don't want to allow any value. You want to allow only the unique value. So I will click over here. And then you will click on the option custom and over here he is asking me to input a formula and here we are going to use count if formula which is very simple so I will write equal and I will say count if now this count if can be in a small letter also or capital also it doesn't matter it's not case sensitive I will open a bracket and then you have to select the range. So in count if you have two syntax. One is the range and another is the criteria. So what I will do, I will take my mouse and again I click on A on the heading. So I click on A, so entire column is selected. So here you see it came A is to it means the whole column is selected. Even you can select from here also, let's say A2 till down. But this is again one of the best method which I am showing it to you. So I will select the entire column. Then you will put comma. I have put comma. And then over here you will say A1. So this is the range. And this is the criteria. So normally when you write a normal count if formula in an Excel. This will count how many times whatever text is written in A1 is repeating it will count that text okay but here you are putting the formula not in a sheet but you are putting it under the validation so after saying equal count if select the column put comma a1 close the bracket and you say equal to one what this formula will do he will every time check that let's say you suppose type 101 then you type 102. Again, if anybody types 101, it will give him an error saying that this entry is repeating more than once. Okay. Now, if you want, when a person enters a wrong value, it should give him some error message that boss, you have inserted a wrong value. So I will go to the error alert and over here, you can define your own error message. So I will say, for example, error. Or you can say duplicate whatever heading you wish you can just put it and over here you can put error message please enter unique employee ID and over here you have three options one is style you have stop warning and information if you select stop he will never allow a user to enter a wrong value it will restrict that completely but if you say warning, then it will give you, it will give a user this type of warning. But if a user say yes, it will go ahead and it will take the duplicate entry. 
But if you say information, then it will just tell user that boss, you are entering a duplicate value. That's all. He will not prevent him from entering. So it's always better you take or as per the need. But most of the scenario, we take stop that a person should not enter a duplicate employee ID. Uh, again, I go to the setting or you be in error alert and just say OK and your work is done. It's so simple. Now let's check it out. So I will say 101, enter, 102, enter, 103, enter. Now, if a user again type 101, he should get an error. So see, I am type 101, I'm getting an error. Please enter unique employee ID. And this was the title which I had given. Even if he say retry, retry, he will not be able to enter because in data validation, we had selected a stop one. So this way you can prevent duplicate entry from your sheet. So I hope you have understood this. I will also show you the steps once again, step by step. So I will go to my next sheet, which is the steps. And over here, it will make more clear to you. So these are the steps. If you want, you can take a screenshot. You can repeat the video. This is the area where you have to go to the custom in data validation. And these are the steps which you can read and try it out. If you want this Excel sheet, just email it to me and I will surely send you the Excel sheet for your practice. Thank you so much and happy learning.